Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I'll be uh, answering one of your most frequently asked question on my channel, which is how to get started in cyber security or how to start learning ethical hacking or bug bounty hunting or anything else. So in this video, I'll give you a clear cut information on what to do and what are the things you are required to do so that you can be successful in this field. So this, these are the steps that I followed. Okay, right now I'm really good. I'm doing really good. And you can follow it along and also make sure you watch till the end because at the end i will be providing you some resources uh, which i used uh, which are available for free and some are available for uh, for paid i'll tell you them so let's dive into the video so guys the first important thing you need to learn is networking so networking is a really important thing where you need to learn something like layers and also some uh, important protocols like tcp udp and also how the uh, data is transferred from one machine to another machine how servers respond and stuff like that and the second important thing is cryptography so cryptography uh, i'll give you clear-cut information like how you encrypt the data and how you decrypt the data so this is all about networking and cryptography and guys remember that these are the important and must and should Things that everyone who want to ex uh, who want to uh, improve their skill in cyber security you need to learn these two things so these this is my first pick guys and I started learning from networking and then cryptography I'll tell you the resources that I followed at the end of this video as I told you previously and the second important thing is programming and this is not mandatory but learning programming or uh, learning uh, learning how to code is really helpful because uh, like if you learn how to code or if you learn how to uh, do the those kinds of thing you can uh, read some exploits like you don't be like a script kitty okay you can read uh, look into some tools and you can see what it's doing so and my uh, personal choices are python and bash these are required for uh, ethical hacking but uh, you can have your own set of things but these are the important things uh, I, uh, these are the important programming languages I feel that everyone should learn. Python is a fairly easy language. Bash is also a fairly easy language. If you learn them, then you're definitely good. Uh, and make sure you make this mandatory, okay? I had seen most of the people skipping this part, okay? Like, uh, I know one of my friends who uh, does hacking good, but like he plays CTFs good, but uh, he, don't at, he don't know programming at all. So learning that would be helpful as well. And the third important thing is Linux. Learn Linux, guys. Linux is really, really simple. Uh, learn how to use command line. Learn how to use some tools. Learn what Linux is. Of, uh, like, look into what are the file systems, how you can install it. Okay, look into some basic things. And many resources out there are on Linux. So, learn Linux. And... Uh, uh, you can choose any linux distribution uh, this is an important step as well guys because for hacking you need linux in the primary state okay like uh, in the starting state and then you can create your own laboratory within anywhere else but uh, choose any one of your linux distributions okay so i prefer using kali linux parrot os or ubuntu you can use these three of them uh, because they are uh, fine for our usage so also guys uh, as i told you look into the linux as well I learn all the command line tools and stuff so these are the prerequisites guys like these are the basic things uh, you need to learn before starting hacking now we'll see what are the things uh, like how to learn hacking and stuff okay so in hacking there are some steps like information gathering scanning uh, exploitation privilege escalation and covering tracks so these are the steps in hacking so uh, how I learned is I took one topic suppose if you take information gathering and reconnaissance I took this topic and I uh, looked into various tools and looked into the various methodologies uh, for one week or like that and I got uh, I improved my tool set or toolkit and also I learned what's happening there and as I told you learn what's the information gathering and reconnaissance uh, try that on any one of the websites or like websites means which are having bug bounty so if you go to hacker one or bug crowd you will be having some various websites where you can do this and there will be no restrictions at all or you can install any vulnerable application and you can try that out 
okay so make sure you check this guys and information gathering and reconnaissance are the really 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 important things in the field of ethical hacking suppose if you want to play ctfs like we spend like ar around 10 to 20 minutes for ga for gathering these things okay and ctfs is like partly we'll discuss about that and the second one on the second part second one in the hacking is scanning so this is uh, where you will be uh, getting knowledge where you will be seeing networking terms okay, so if you can see uh, an nmap result not only nmap there are many scanning applications guys but if you look into the nmap you will see some ports tcp service and stuff so if you don't want to get confused so learn networking be good at networking and come back uh, and uh, learn other things okay so scanning is like we'll be looking into the machine a target machine and we'll see whether uh, what are the ports open what are the services it is uh, giving whether the service is vulnerable or not yeah we'll try to get information and as i told you previously that uh, most of the time in ctfs we spend most of our time on information gathering and scanning okay so these two are major steps guys M more arsenal you have missed more tools you have you can get a good information Okay, and if you don't know nmap a video i posted a video on my channel regarding nmap tutorial check that out so and these are the important things guys make sure you spend a more time on information gathering and scanning like some amount of some pretty good amount of time and learn some tools and things okay so after completion of this the main important thing is exploitation so exploitation is like gaining access on that machine or the target machine learn what are the different ways to gain access on a machine like via reverse shells or via executables okay we can make use of metasploit and you can also make use of exploit database okay and you can uh, see various methods of exploitation if you are stuck there are many many good write-ups out there check that out those those are really helpful for you and uh, as i told you previously you need to spend more time on information gathering and scanning and if you get good information uh, with the uh, with the previous two steps you can exploit the machine easier okay, so exploitation is what you need to check that out as well because this is the where hacking is defined as so mostly in most of the books you can read that hacking is like exploitation but yeah so this is an important and a crucial state where you get access to the machine and if you get the access to the machine i don't need to say what you can do right and the important tool here is metasploit so metasploit is the major thing and uh, you can also find some public exploits via exploit db i'll cover that in the resources section as well and the important thing is privilege escalation so after exploiting you will be getting uh, like a normal user and we'll perform some steps so that we could gain our access from a normal user to an admin or root okay so this is also an important thing you need to check that out and i see i have seen most of the people that i know are skipping this part okay privilege escalation is really really an important thing that no one should skip it okay so and i'll provide the resources at the end don't worry and covering tracks to be frank uh, if you are playing ctfs or if you are doing bug bounty hunting covering tracks doesn't uh, help you out because covering tracks is like let's think you gained access on a machine okay and uh, what you do is you try to remove all your uh, logs related to you like what are the logs related to you what are the things you have done you try to clear all those tracks so that uh, your activity remains anonymous so this is an important thing this is not so important thing sorry uh, but yeah learning it is helpful and also guys these are the main things you need to learn for hacking or in the cyber security uh, and to be frank don't all and one more free advice is don't always learn guys uh, try that out on various applications like learn practically so that you could remember that longer and also while learning them make sure you maintain a good notes okay so notes is what helps you out even uh, uh, my two year old notes is helping me right now till now okay because we humans forgot some tough forgot so if you have a notes it would be a, like backup for your memory so check that out and there are some vulnerable applications like uh, metasploitable and there are many more things like and OVASP is also providing some you can install them and you can try that out and uh, now let's get into the resources section guys so the as we discussed the first 
to discuss the first thing is networking and cryptography for networking there is uh, two good channels on youtube and as i told you most of these resources will be available for free okay so so these are the guides that i follow so the first one is network check so this is a one of the bigger YouTube, biggest youtube channel uh, related to networking uh, this is uh, related to networking and uh, he's also getting into why uh, hacking as well but you can consider this as the networking learning resource you can find ccna or guys uh, you can also check out some ccna courses ccna is nothing but cisco's uh, uh, certified network engineer course okay and the and one more thing and one more thing in networking is david bombal i think my yeah david bombal i'll not provide these links okay uh, so you can check that out he, even he does some good things with networking you can go to his playlists and you can find some various things here like he's also focusing on hacking nowadays but yeah you can check that out as well and you can find some ccna uh, courses free courses you can learn networking from them and to be frank uh, i haven't found any good and good or free resource for uh, cryptography so this is also uh, the uh, topic that I mentioned and the resource to learning it William Stallings so there is a book called William Stallings Network Security I could show you image yeah this is the book uh, which is available in both uh, PDF versions as well as hard copy you can check this out okay so this is the best book and i have it right now so you can learn cryptography from this and you can also learn network security but that's optional but uh, make sure you learn cryptography and if you are uh, really interested and if you want to take your learning uh, a little bit farther further go with network security as well okay so these are the resources for this and for programming you can find some various tutorials okay so if you go to youtube uh, you can go to something like python tutorial you'll find some ton of them but the one thing that i would recommend you is from clever programmer so uh, this is the one of the best course guys like uh, it is like 12, 11 hours of course and it covered almost all the uh, part that you need to learn in order to be a, a python developer or python programmer you can check out uh, normal courses as well but this is what i recommend you learning and uh, bash there is a hackers exploit playlist which is related to bash uh, you can see the shell scripting uh, this is uh, uh, this is the playlist uh, which teaches you shell scripting which is nothing but bash okay and uh, so this is uh, what programming section resources are i only mentioned python and bash uh, you can go your choice okay, you can go c c plus plus java anything else but learn programming it could be like a it would be safe site and the second one is linux okay so you can also find various links and you can see linux essentials for hacker hacker exploit is uh, hacker exploits are is having a playlist you can check that out and uh, also there are many resources for linux you can simply type linux you'll find ton of them you'll find ton 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 of them you can find some various playlists over here but make sure you learn the something which is recommended and which is very valuable so that's it for uh, these three sections okay and now let's come to these things and these things can part uh, can be learned uh, separately you'll have some courses or for this like the all these next five steps are nothing but hacking ethical hacking so if you type ethical hacking the best resource that i can provide you is uh, hacker exploit channel okay so this is a free resource that you can get uh, the free resource that you can get to learn hacking for free you can find some various playlists here and also you can find penetration testing bootcamp and many more things okay you can check this channel for free and there are many courses on uh, so if you want to pay something so you can go to the jet security so jet security i write my blogs there and they have some bunch of their ethical hacking courses if you go to the courses section uh, yeah if you go to the courses section you can see some courses here so 
uh, so this is the thing that you need to learn learn ethical hacking from scratch uh, it is like 99 dollars not uh, it won't be that much if you go on udemy right now there is a sale for 455 rupees you can get this course there are many more courses like python for ethical hacking android for ethical hacking but this this is the basic prerequisite okay so uh, look into this and also one more best thing is uh, pcm uh, cyber mentors course as well i would recommend that you can see some various courses out there okay uh, so the one is the practical ethical hacking so this is also one of the coolest course like 24 25 hours and by comparing both jet security and practical ethical hacking course uh, i recommend this thing because it's much more advanced the reason is you'll be having something like active directory exploit development the buffer overflows and stuff but in this uh, it's only basic thing okay so if you are willing to buy a course i would uh, recommend this okay but if you are not having money because it would be like little bit costlier if you're not having money if you are on budget you can go with this anything is fine and uh, yeah and guys uh, the courses that i had shown you only provides you the part till exploitation okay they only cover this first uh, information gathering scanning and exploitation and as i told you covering tracks is uh, optional okay but the privilege escalation is not available for free okay so privilege escalation is a different topic so even tcm has uh, you need to purchase a new course in order to learn uh, privilege escalation i had seen various videos on youtube for privilege escalation but those are not uh, so effective okay so you can check uh, cyber mentors heath adams courses uh, which are related for uh, windows privilege escalation and linux privilege escalation and also there is something like tibras um, i think my, i'm wrong so if you go at tibras i think i'm if i'm if, if i spoke the spelling wrong uh, forgive me so even uh, tibras sir is having some privilege escalation courses which are on linux and windows and to be frank uh, yeah this is the most highest rated course okay you can check that out and even he's also having windows privilege escalation course you can check them out so as i told you i provided you some uh, resources okay so where you can learn these things and start learning and as i told you that i will also share the study plan so uh, so make sure you plan in such a way that uh, like take one one to two week one to two week a time uh, one to two weeks of time to learn a topic suppose if you want to learn networking uh take networking and cryptography take two two weeks of time and learn all these things and then move to the next topic like learn two weeks come to the next topic like that you keep on learning them and as i told you take notes by learning and that's it guys so if you need any if you need any help regarding how you can do this you can also find some of my videos uh, some of my videos that are related to these things in my channel as well check that out so that's it for today guys uh, so this is the most requested video and i covered it the reason why i'm doing this video is uh, whenever i'm coming to the live streams i have seen many newbies like new people who are uh, uh, just joining into like just showing their interest towards cyber security but they don't know anything like they don't know how to start and where to start so that's the reason why i made this video and this could be like a guide for them in order to learn hacking cyber security and web application penetration testing so that's it uh that's it guys if you like this video please like it and if you feel this video is really helpful uh make sure you share this to your friends and please like this video and comment your thoughts on this video so with that we can beat the youtube algorithm so really thank you for watching this guys and the links for the discord twitter telegram everything are in the description below you can check them out so this is satvik signing off uh, for today i'll meet you once again goodbye